Good afternoon, Stampers. It's Sunday afternoon on January the 26th, 2020, and I am Jennifer Kirk, an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario, and we're going to make this card today using the lovely little ladybugs, and they are free from uh, celebration. So just let me get organized here for one second. You can see my mouse in the way. I'm just trying to find my video so that we can, if there's any comments, I can address them. And I can also make sure that I'm in your uh, camera view and not outside of it and, and that you don't see my head or anything like that. All right, so, oh, my uh, iPad just got caught up with this and I gotta mute it so that we don't um, hear me echoing in the background. All right, so how cute are these little guys? So these little ladybugs, here's the stamp set. It's in the celebration. I'll tell you a little bit about the celebration in a second. Um, and just, aren't they adorable? And then, and then these guys, you can use these as a little border. Oh, just so cute. I love, love, love this set. It is absolutely adorable. So, first thing, celebration. For those of you that haven't heard about celebration, it is, hi Sandy, I can see that you're here. <laughs> Yay, I can see my comments. First time ever, haha. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Where was I? So celebration, it is the best time um, at Stamping Up to, to join Stamping Up. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that at the, at the end of the video. But um, celebration goes from January 3rd to March 31st, 2020. Uh, there will be another release uh, a little bit later on. But right now, there are what we call level one um values and there's level two so for every sixty dollars that you spend in canada in canada or canadian dollars before shipping before tax you can pick any of the items in this brochure that has this free with sixty dollars so this little purple look at these meerkats oh i gotta play with those too i started to but i haven't finished um sorry squirrel i got distracted again um and then for every $120 that you spend before shipping and before taxes, you can pick a level two item. So an example of a level two item would be these Lily dies, which you've seen me um, use in another video if you've seen my, my previous videos. All right. So, but there's another um, thing in, in celebration. So look at all these like free DSP, embellishments, uh, this gorgeous kit that you can just make ready-made cards, comes with everything other than um, glue that you need. Cake, really nice um, sentiments, some more DSP that is absolutely gorgeous, a punch, yes, a punch, and corresponding dies, uh, stamps to go with it, embossing folders with a stamp, Okay, um, the other thing that you can get with celebration, during celebration, is if you host a party and you get, I believe it is 375 maybe, um, sorry, I should have that number up. It's around 375. If you get a party with around 375, don't quote me on that, but it's around that, um, in sales, you get this for free. How cute is that? Okay, so the little ladybug. We're gonna we're gonna make this card today. This one would be perfect for a Valentine's Day card. Um, what I have done though is I've done it as kind of a congratulations card. So it's, hey lady, congratulations, spread your wings and fly. So this would be perfect for a new job just graduating from college or university. It's basically, you know, you're just starting out at a new new path in your life and, and oh, I don't know, I think it's just adorable. Anyway, so we're gonna make this card today. 
but you could do it for Valentine's Day as well. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so what do we need to make this card? Okay, we're gonna make, need a piece of pool party, and this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I will be posting this card on my blog today, sometime today. I haven't actually written the, the blog post yet, so it'll be later on this evening, but I will have all the measurements within the blog. So um, I will put a link at the bottom of this video of how to get to my blog. Uh, so if you wanna make this card and you can't remember the, the measurements, then just hop on over to the blog and they'll all be there along with this video. I'll upload the video as well so you can rewatch it if you need to. All right, so that's one thing we need. The other thing that we need is a piece of five and a quarter by four of Whisper White. And then I have run this through, and of course I forget the name. I will have to find it. I have run this through the embossing folder that goes with the Parisian. Just let me find it. I should have done this beforehand. My uh, poor puppy is sick, so I'm a little bit um, discombobulated today. He was up, kept me up all night uh, crying, which is very, very unusual for him. So um, the Parisian Flourish, oh, I should have known that, 3D embossing folder. So we use this one, and we're also going to be using the DSP from that suite there as well. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little piece of it. So this is four by one and a half. And I'll show you the DSP that goes with this pack. It's really, really cute. Um, so it is specialty DSP because it has some champagne in there, which I don't know if you can see on the camera. I'm trying to see if it catches the light. Um, but anyway. It's gorgeous. So this is the only piece I have out of two packs of this paper. So I'm lucky that I can show you the colors. So that's the flip side and the front. This one has some gorgeous writing in it, in the champagne as well as in white. Um, and then some just pretty cherry blossoms on the back. This one is postage, so perfect for the, your traveler in the family and another postage stamp there as well. Um, this is the one that we're using today and it's uh, some cherry blossoms and then it's got some of that champagne glitter in there and some cool designs on the back. Um, beautiful flowers, some more cool designs. And this is the last piece. So you get two pieces of each of these in your in your DSP pack. All right, so. And then the other thing you're gonna need is some circle punches and the layering circle dies so that we can have one of the scallops here. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna stamp. We're gonna be using our blends today as well. Um, so the, I'll, quickly go through the colors. This I'm just using on the cheeks. So it's uh, the dark pink pirouette, um, light and dark petal pink. I'm using cherry cobbler today, even though ladybugs really should be real red, but just because this is the color that's in the uh, DSP, although it doesn't really show in the DSP, so it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever red you want. You know, ladybugs can even be orange. And um, I'm gonna be using probably just the light basic black, maybe the dark. All right, so, and then the ink that we're using is the Memento ink. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna just stamp our ladybugs um, so that we can punch them out, okay? So I typically, on the Memento, now I did just read juice this so it's uh, pretty juicy um, but I typically give my stamps a little twist when I when I stamp on this pad so we're just going to do the three different types of ladybugs and I don't know if you've noticed this but this one the wings are closed this one 
they're starting to open up. And the last one, our ladybug, is in full flight. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need another piece of whisper right because I won't be able to punch a circle out of that guy. Okay, and I'm actually gonna punch this one twice because we're gonna use one on the inside. Okay, and then for the inside, sorry, I put my arm in front of the camera. Um, now this one, the flower is a lot bigger, so I'm gonna actually bring the stamp pad to the flower so that I can make sure that it's covered. There we go. And there we are. Oh, I missed a spot and I was even looking at it. Let's do that one again. All right. Let's give it a little good. It, often with bigger stamps, you do have to give it a little bit more pressure. So that's most of the stamping that we need to do. Um, for this card, we do need to do, and I lost it, there it is. Um, might as well, while I have my ink out, do this one. And this is Hey Lady. And just put it like that, and then we're done. All right. Now we're gonna start coloring. So we're gonna hope, I'm, I'm just losing my hair. Actually, that's my dog's hair. Um, so we're gonna start coloring today. Hopefully these are dry. So let's, I'll do this really quick so you guys don't have to kind of sit here and watch me, but um, I'm gonna do the ladybug's face in light petal pink. You can see my well-loved tip here. It's about time I get a new one. I do uh, love my blends. I use them all the time. All right. And then I am going to take, I think I'm gonna try the light cherry cobbler and give the ins, just really quickly. Let's... Yeah, so my puppy, Normally he's, he's not a puppy, he's an older dog. Um, really weird, all night he was sitting downstairs crying and um, didn't want to come inside. I got up and lied with him for a bit and didn't want to come upstairs. Normally he sleeps in our bedroom on the floor, didn't want to come upstairs. Hasn't eaten all day. Normally, you know, you would think his throat was cut for waiting for his breakfast, but he hasn't eaten, poor little guy. So hopefully he's okay. I guess dogs can get colds and flu bugs too. All right, so there's two little guys, girls, whatever. Um, I do like the little, like leaving some of the white in the spots. So I am just going to try and leave most of those whites there. But I am going to just make them a little bit pop out a bit more by going over them. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my light petal pink and do the feet. Now, on a real ladybug, this would actually be black, not pink. But, you know, I can color it with however I wish. So I'm not being biologically correct here. I'm just doing it so it looks cute. Because I think these guys are just so adorable. It's going to give a little bit of depth here. Wrong color. Blend it a little. You don't need to do a lot of blending on this. I am gonna bring the little pink in and do some cute little cheeks. All right, that's these two. <clears throat> now let's go to these ones. Now 
Now you guys would color this a little bit nicer than me. I'm just doing this really quick for the uh, for the video for to show you how to do this card. This card is very very simple. You can crank out quite a few of these if you need lots. I think they'd be really cute for uh, birthday cards, um, congratulation cards like what I've done, thank you cards, they're just adorable. All right. I really do need to get a new pink parrot. It's, uh, not only is the tip gone, usually when the tip starts to go, unless they've had a really rough class, but normally when the tip starts to go, they're also pretty much spent with um, ink. I do find they, they last quite well. I, uh, I, again, I use my blends a lot, a lot, lot, lot. I love coloring. Um, those of you that come to my classes know that. Cute little cheeks. All right. Okay, now for some reason I have lost my, um, I have lost my comments, so I can't see you now if you're still here, so. Okay, I'm not gonna color this one. And I'm not gonna color this flower because I have actually, wait for it, wait for it, cut it out with the dyes. These are coming February 4th to, to everybody. They will be, it's part of the um, coordinating, uh, my brain has stopped. So Stamping Up is, uh, is doing a coordinating product release starting February 4th. Um, so for some of the items in the uh, mini catalog, you can now get coordinating dies. And this is one of them. I showed you one last time with the, with the It's a Good Day, or I can't remember the name of it. But uh, the birthday cake also from the celebration has coordinating dies. And I'll, I'll show you that probably next week. Um, closer to when it's available for you but so what I did was I I had pre-stamped for the video and uh, cut out the one ladybug flying and the one flower okay so we'll just color those instead of having to watch me color it twice hopefully I can get in here all right I just realized that I did not cut an extra piece for the inside of this card, so I'm gonna have to run away from my desk in a minute and get an extra piece of Whisper White for the inside. It's a little bit harder um, on camera to color these, so I'm trying not to get my head over it. So hopefully you guys will do a better job at coloring and not have spots like I have, but you get the idea. Really simple, really cute, really quick. Okay, color in his face, color in her belly or her abdomen. And then the flower, I did petal pink as well. Oh, I forgot the green. Oh yeah, I, I hope I put an extra one of these on my order. Because uh, it is pretty much done. If you don't have blends, you can take a sponge dauber and you can color the flowers with your dauber you can color them with whatever coloring tools you have markers watercolor pencils anything so if you don't have the blends don't worry you can still do a version of this card just add some darker in the middle here and just kind of bring it out what color should i do the middle i didn't think about that hmm. There. 
All right, and then for the green, well, you know what? I'm gonna stick with the, um, I know these are typically not kind of pool party color, but I'm gonna stick with the pool party theme of this card and just do them. It may look a little weird. But hey, it coordinates. And then I'm just gonna take the darker one and just go in a little bit along the stem, along the line here. And then I'll take the lighter one and just blend it in. There we go. All right. What should I do the inside? Hmm. How about if we just do it a yellow? So this is light so saffron. There we go. Very subtle. All right. So I think we've done all of the coloring that we need to do. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our one and three quarter punch and we're going to punch out our ladybugs. Okay, so we're just gonna line it up and give it a punch. Line it up, give it a punch. Put this over here so I don't lose them. Line this up. This one you're gonna cut off a little bit, but that's okay. And give it a punch. Okay, and then we're gonna take our Two inch punch with some of our scrap um, petal pink and we're gonna just cut out three circles so that's one two three all right now I have taken before the video just so you don't have to see me with the big shot I've taken one of the scallop circles which is just about two and a quarter inches um, but it is from this set here, so I believe it was this one right here that I did. Okay, and I just uh, pre-cut three of these. So now we're just going to glue all these together and assemble our card. We're almost done. All right, so some Tombow. Again, you don't need a lot of Tombow. You know, stick them together. Oh, I think they're just so cute. Oh, I forgot the cheeks on this one. I'll have to put some cheeks on. Okay, and stick this on. Just make it sure it's equal all the way around. Okay, there's one. There's two, almost. last one. Oh, thank you, Sandy. I think it's really cute. You can do it with all different colors. The first one that I did uh, really reminded me of Valentine's Day. This one I wanted to do a little bit more subtle and to match with the Parisian colors. All right, so that's that. So now, again, we're in assembly mode. So let's put some more Tombow on, on here. Stick it on our cardstock. The Tombow gives you a couple minutes to move it around and get it centered, where if you're using tape or snail, you don't have the wiggle room. So I do like, I you know, Tombow is my go-to adhesive. I love it. If, I'm, if I need something stronger, then I'll use, um, you know, tear and tape or the snail, which we no longer have. Not snail. Um, oh, what's that other stuff called? I use it all the time. And of course, I can't think of it. Okay, I'm just going to put this in the middle. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in the middle. I do have these in an order. So again, I 
because the inside I'm using spread your wings and fly, um, I'm going to have it start from closed, starting to get ready to fly, and flying. And people probably wouldn't notice that, but you know, I did. <laughs> okay, so glue it down. Now you could pop these as well if you wanted to. I'm just going to keep it all flat. Maybe I'll pop the sentiment up. Um, you do want to make sure it's not hanging off too much so it fits into a regular size envelope. How simple is this? My black, um, my black is too juicy and it still hadn't even dried after all that time. That's not good. All right, cute. All right, for the sentiment, so I have tons and tons and tons and tons of scrap lying around. I keep these because I use them all the time for the sentiment. So um, we stamped it down. I'm gonna use a retired punch here, but I'll show you how to do it um, if you don't have this one. So this is the mini banner bunch that we no longer carry. You could also do it like this, okay, and get the same, this is the tailored punch, so you could do it like this and get it. I'm just gonna do it like this, because it's easier, because it's the exact height, and I don't have to worry about trying to get it centered, because it just centers itself. And I can't find my snips. It's buried under DSP, probably. Uh-oh. Where are my snips? All right, they are lost on my desk somewhere. Oh, here they are, found them. Okay, so we're just gonna give it a little cut right here. I'm gonna put those there where I won't lose them. I'll get rid of these punches so they're out of the way. All right, and then I will pop up the sentiment. So now, have to decide, do we want it down here? Do we want it up here? You could even put some, a thicker piece of the pool party underneath. That would probably look pretty as well. Uh, just for the sake of the video, I will just keep it as white, but you could, you know, do a layer similar to your circles there. Oops, I lost a piece there. Um, and I don't know where my take a pick tool is, so I will try and peel it off with my non-existent fingernails. All right, so I think right here looks good. So, hey lady, there, we're done. Done the outside, anyway. I will really quickly, I'm just gonna run, as I said, I forgot to get a piece of white, so I'm just gonna run over to the other side of my craft room and grab, hopefully I have one pre-cut. There we go. I'm gonna get all this out of the way. All right, so now we're gonna take these. Um, so the flower, the flying ladybug. And again, I'm using this as a congratulations card. So um, new job, um, whatever, right? So spread your rings and fly. How cute is that? So I'm gonna stick that around here. Hopefully it's straight. Oh no. You pretend that's not there. I, it looks like there's some fuzz on there, probably from my sweater. Just pretend it's not there. I'm not gonna adhere to these because then I'll re-stamp. All right, so then all I do is I glue this down, pop that up probably, and stick it on in the inside. And there you go. All done. I'm not going to do it just because that's, well, here, let's just turn it over and see if I can, I don't know if I can see what's on my stamp. We'll see if it, if I can get it off. Maybe it was on the piece of paper. That's better. All right. There's always another side in stamping, isn't there? So stick that over. Hopefully it's straight. I can't see because of the camera. Okay. And I'll hide some of that ink. Put that up there. It's 
so let's let's pop the butter the butterfly. That's a funny looking butterfly, Jen. Let's pop the ladybug up. And I wish I had my take a pick tool out so that I could get these off easily. But here we go. I'm almost done. A little painful watching me. And I'll just I'll put the flower down flat. Tombow, you don't need a lot. It's really good glue. Really, I'm gonna try and hide some of that. I had some black on my fingers. Um, so I'll just give this a trim. All right. And lay it in. There we are. Ta-da! All right. So, so that's the one card. Here's an, this exact same layout, same thing. Uh, here I'm just using that um, ribbon with the dots that's in the annual catalog and a piece of DSP from the uh, Be My Hearts. Holy, there's things flying around in my craft room. Must be a ghost. Somebody just walked upstairs and sent a piece of paper flying around. They're walking too heavy. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed these. These are so cute. This one is in real red, which I like better than the cherry cobbler because it just makes it a little bit more vibrant. Oh, we forgot to do his cheeks, didn't we, in here? Her cheeks, I keep calling it. Well, it could be, it could be a he. There we go. All right. So thank you for joining me. Um, I will have this card on my blog tonight um, with all the measurements and, and supplies that you need to make it. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave a question. I will respond to them. Um, celebration is not only a great time to get free product, but it's also a great time to sign up. So if there is anything in the catalog or any catalog that you want and you're getting close to $100 Canadian, it is an absolute no-brainer to sign up as a demonstrator. You do not need to demonstrate. You do not need to sell. Um, the starter kit is right now during celebration until the end of March is the best deal going. So for $135, you get to choose $165 worth of product from any of the catalogs, okay, other than the celebration brochure. You get to choose $165 worth of product. You get a free sampler of DSP. You get this adorable mini little trimmer. And you get to pick any stamp set you want out of any catalog for free. So, that's $135. You got $165 worth of product. There's no tax. There's no shipping. And you get free stuff. So it's really, if you're close, if you're getting, if if there's even two bundles that you want, then you're over $100. You might as well sign up. So if you don't have a demonstrator um, and you live in Canada, I would be happy to help you out. Um, but this is the time to sign up. Okay. So... Until next week, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, I hope the weather stays warm and mild and, uh, and that everybody stays healthy. So talk soon. Bye.